Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about Canon C-Log. So my 5D Mark IV originally did not come with C-Log and then Canon offered the option to send it in for $99 to get C-Log put on it. So I decided as I was getting more into video and stuff that I could spare the hundred bucks to send it in and get C-Log put onto my Canon 5D Mark IV. And the reason I thought it was worth it is the extra dynamic range that you get out of having C-Log and allowing you to color grade a little more against using a like fake C-Log or a fake log profile by creating it in your uh, photo profiles on your camera. So I thought it was worth it and I still think it's worth it. So I just wanna show you guys some of the footage that I've taken since then and the slight color grading that I've done to some of this footage. Color grading is obviously something very new to me now that I've gotten into video in the past year and a half and just now getting C-Log about eight months ago, I think it was. So I've been using some uh, LUT presets and adjusting from there. I know it's not just a drop and that's it. You gotta, you know, you have to make adjustments according to your footage with using a LUT. And the LUTs that I've been using are from Matty Hopoya on YouTube. And if you don't follow him, I'll put his uh, channel link in the description. But I bought his LUTs right when I got the C-Log put onto my camera. And I've had a fun time like learning how to slightly color grade them. Obviously still new to it and there's plenty to learn with using scopes and everything. But it's been a fun uh, experience so far. So here's some of that footage. So like I said before, having C-Log allows you to um, get more dynamic range in your video recordings. And according to Canon's website, you get up to 800% more dynamic range at ISOs above 400 with C-Log. That 800% is the equivalent to 12 stops of light that you are able to capture which allows for more details in the shadows and more details in the highlights, as long as they're not clipping. And so you get a lot more to play with when you're color grading or trying to get that moody look by adding more contrast or whatever it may be. So C-Log is something you can use in all video formats, but HDR and the time-lapse mode on the 5D Mark IV. I'm not sure how it works on any of the other bodies that are allowed to get C-Log but it doesn't work in the time-lapse video feature or the HDR feature. And I've never used the HDR feature and in the time-lapse mode, I haven't used that much either, but it's also something that I wanna use in the future. So I'm sure I'll have a video on that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think, or if you have any questions, I appreciate it. Peace out.